Black nut is caused by the fungal pathogen Apiosporina morbosa. Black nut is a pretty commonly observed disease that affects all plants within the genus Prunus, which includes things like cherries, choke cherries, mayday trees, plums, almonds, apricots, etc. Black knot is easily recognized by its characteristic black tar-like swellings or galls that occur on branches of infected plants. It's pretty hard to miss. Mature galls produce spores in the spring, which infect the succulent growing points of plants. This would include the tips of branches or fruit spurs. The pathogen develops internally and externally, with the gall developing on the surface. Initially, the gall is a fairly inconspicuous swelling but it increases in size and eventually ruptures, becoming hard and black. Galls may be up to six inches or more in length and can also occur at branch junctions or on scaffold or structural limbs. Over time, mature galls may be colonized by secondary fungi, which reduces sporulation and also causes them to turn bright colors. The main method for managing black knot is rigorous pruning and destruction of infected material. This is done in winter when trees in the pathogen are dormant it's also when the galls are most easily observed and visible, so you can get at them. Prune out galls a minimum of six inches below obviously infected tissues. It's best to prune back to an appropriate point, such as a collar, rather than just cutting a branch in half. Remember that the pathogen spreads internally, hence the need to carefully prune in healthy disease-free wood. Disinfecting pruning tools is recommended, but can be somewhat impractical in many situations. It's very important to destroy or dispose of diseased material so it doesn't continue to produce spores. It doesn't take a lot of black knot in an area to keep a population going, so be thorough. If you have to do some complex pruning, enlist the services of a certified arborist, as they can be a great help.